This week on the House of Bread Show, we talk about KFC and chicken from Nando's. Also, I say this, they're opening, chicken Nando's. Uh, yeah, they're opening it. There's a brief appeal from Will. Who is this guy and what's his name? And as always, much, much more. Hello, welcome to the House of Bread Show one more time. It might be one more time, it might be where my <laughs> voice is going. Uh, I've lost my voice. Uh, hello, Will. Hi, Jack. That sounds awful. It was worse mm, earlier, so um, <laughs> it's definitely come back. Oh, if I go up an octave, yes. it's dreadful. Right, we'll stop bumbling on. Let's get on. Oh, dreadful dig. That's better. much better. Uh, first up, it says on my notes, chicken. Chicken, yes. Chicken, now this uh, is exciting. This is very exciting. Very exciting. I do have one complaint to be lodged at Lisa and Dave who surreptitiously disappeared on Wednesday from Ooh. 43 Browning Street and came back very full, very full of chicken and speaking Portuguese. Yes, and there's a bit of a clue there. <laughs> uh, yeah, first this takes back to a couple of calls they I had. They didn't tell anybody, that's no, the thing. No, uh, a couple of calls I had um, two or three weeks ago from Knoxville, uh, Louisiana. From in, uh, the, in the US of A. United States of Trump. Yeah, if it's still there. <laughs> um, and basically they were saying, uh, hi, uh, we're from uh, the agents that um, support KFC. Oh, that's right. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah. Um, and would we be interested in being the recipients of Kentucky Fried Chicken's yeah. chicken uh, each week left over? So it wasn't um, Americans finding out about House of Bread. It was the uh, <laughs> yeah. KFC in, in Stafford, Stafford, wasn't on it? On the, the Huff. They Retail thought, bar. oh, we'll give our leftover chicken to House of Bread, but they had to go so far up the chain, it eventually got back to back America. To us. It's back to America. Um, so that's fantastic. So we find, we're getting our first pickup on Tuesday, the 24th of November, which right. is very exciting. Uh, and then if that wasn't enough... Um, if that wasn't enough chicken, we got more chicken, chicken I got another call you. from, from uh, another American. I think they're the same mm. company, I think it is, well, to be honest. Uh, Nando's. They're opening, Nando's. Uh, yeah, they're opening in Stafford pretty soon, and they too are giving us the food. So that's where um, old Dave and Lee we were Tracked absolutely down. devastated when they so, came back going, oh, we just sampled half the Nando's menu. <laughs> so what? Yes. So we're starting to get that next week as well. So um, in the month of uh, October, we had virtually, and I think it is actually in Zill, purchases on food oh, wow. for the whole month, Yeah, which is incredible. So that was, it is an exception because it is harvest time at that yeah, kind of thing. But, but with all fantastic. this extra stuff coming yeah, in, I think November be Radford we'll be... Bank, KFC, Nando's, yeah. Uh, GE yeah. giving us all sorts of food it yeah. is fantastic so we are we know while the pressure's on and we'll talk about and that you a bit guys later donating food, yeah. and yeah um, the, the food cost is, is tumbling it's, and it's really good food especially from Radford Bank you've mm. got uh, sausages which is fantastic Bacon, beef joints beef jo yeah. uh, chicken ha, chicken, chicken. Uh -huh. Um, so yeah, that's really exciting. Yeah. That's KFC. Really exciting. What about so, yeah, us? It's Fantastic. going to be some good food. A little old house out. of bread in Stafford. I apologise for sniffing as well. Yeah. We both <laughs> sniffles. Oh dear. Uh, they haven't been mentioned for a while out of our radio shows, but Stafford FM. Yes. Uh, are back on our list of things to talk about. Yes, what are you. they doing, Will? Well, uh, thank you, Leah, for coming down. Leah Clare, she came down and uh, met us in uh, Brown Street and basically asked if she could run a promotion pretty much the whole of uh, the month of November and right. probably into December yeah. and it's basically hooking into various different points of need so this week um, we I was interviewed on the radio and it was all about the food collection point right um, the next couple of weeks it'll all be about fundraising what people can do for us how they can go about donating yeah and everything and it's talking about the connection with Stafford community and how the community of Stafford can help us and I'll come back onto that in, in a few minutes mm. but Stafford FM yeah good supporters of us of course we're on there twice on Sundays um, so yeah thank you Leah and it was uh, it, it's again it's really getting into the heart of um, local community and getting mm. their support mm. which is which is growing so and thank it you, is Stafford fantastic FM. because it just keeps I mean this time of year it is at the forefront of people's minds um, but it is important to keep reminding people that uh, yeah everywhere is getting shrunk and yeah. we're having to deal with more and more people which leads us on to the next thing uh will wants to talk for a little while to you guys about yeah. some um important stuff it yeah. really is important um take it away will okay thank you Jack. i'll ding it when i think we've said enough <laughs> okay um this is my serious face um, a couple of things are happening at House of Bread. One of them is that our services are increasing. We have never been busier um, providing food bags, support, advocacy, housing, advice, you name it, we've never been bigger, bit busier. At the same time that we've been getting busier, 
so the resources to run House of Bread have been more and more stretched. Well, I think I think in terms of in terms of you saying what you said first, we have the same amount of resources, but we're having to stretch them further yeah. and further. And this is putting a lot of pressure on us, and we need to respond to the growing need. And we're, we're sort of challenging the community or anybody within Stafford, anybody who's got a heart for this work, that actually we need people to get behind mm. us financially. Mm. Um, now you'll know <coughs> that there are various Excuse tins me. like that you'll see, which, which is fantastic. Um, you'll know we have a local giving site, the link will go up, and you know that on that local giving site you can set up um, direct debits or, or one-off donations and they're all gift aided, and we also have a direct debit form. Um, we are in need of your support because if Stafford as a society is to address the growing need of homelessness um, and vulnerability in town, um, we need to be able to respond. Mm. Um, and you know, what's happening around us, and I'm not making this a, as a political statement, we are where we are, but I think the challenge is, is up for Stafford to mm. help us deliver on the service that we do. Um, so, and we are in a different place as a charity ourselves now. House of Bread has, has moved on to be able to provide yeah. all these extra resources with this building. So um, it's not which just is, point which of is crisis. helping more people than ever, yeah. which is um, uh, uh, helping people at a point of crisis easier than ever. We've had yeah. a couple of examples the last few weeks yeah. where we wouldn't have been able to put in place the level of care we did immediately for this individual if we had just popped up on a Wednesday. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the House of Bread is in a different place and obviously we can't do what we do now on what we were doing no so we need your support and we need you know we always trade and we always joke that we trade in everything including money um you know if i'm thinking of november december january this is the christmas period this is the winter period coming up mm. and we really need people to think you know actually i think i need to be a little bit more more focused on the community it is a fact people spend huge amounts of money at this time of year on uh, family and friends and that's absolutely important but I think what I would say to you is, you know, if you've got a heart for this, if you're aware, and I know people are because they bump into us and they talk to us about the, the growing um, homelessness and vulnerability that is evident in Stafford, um, actually, we, we've really all yeah. got to support us. So, so we do, yeah. And, you know, if you're making any donation whatsoever, it makes a difference. And you know, also, we've had pounds, we've had tens of pounds and hundreds. It all makes a difference. Mm. And also, if you have time rather than money, you can come to us and we will give you um, a huge list of fundraising Yeah, we've got uh, a fundraising pack now. We need um, people to go and ask other yeah. people for help. Yeah. So, so um, maybe you're so right, yeah. Jack. It, it, it's great because you know, if you, you can gift us something, that that's fantastic. But if you have the ability of go getting funds yeah. from other people, then we can enhance you. We've had our first sponsored runner for the half marathon, uh, yes. half which for is, March. Which is now which, up. Which is running. now up. I believe half the tickets have sold. Yeah. So, yeah, we need to be very creative. Um, this problem is not going away, and this weather makes it more challenging. Well, um, and the so, yeah, come, and, come along and help uh, us. And it may sound involved. all doom and gloom there, but the wonderful thing is, if we are able to get your help and a lot more help, we can just do so, so much, much more. more. Yeah. Um, and that's that's all that matters really. Yeah. There's don't, nothing else. Don't forget, else. if you've got a new fiver, you receive your first new fiver, donate yeah. that. That's become quite a, a, a hot thing. Um, but yeah, just think about us. Come and one. find us. Come and see us. Understand what what the need is, yeah. and come and talk to us. You know, you might be able to help us out with a specific project, or you might just want to help core costs, and that's delivering um, funding so that we can get out and do work. Um, so yep, yeah, that's that's really really important. Fantastic. And I didn't have to ding my bell once. Oh. Uh, but we will motor on now. Um, <laughs> okay. Something we forgot to mention last week, but is uh, very prevalent. Yes. Travis Perkins. Thank you, Travis Perkins. Especially well, Travis Perkins, yeah. but a, another name um, from Travis Perkins. Lee Lee Hitchin. Is it um, definitely Lee? Because you said a is. different name uh, <laughs> earlier sure on. Lee. <laughs> Just a quick point of order here. I was right. Lee isn't his name. It is Ryan. So I apologise, Ryan, for my father for getting it wrong over and over. So from now on, when you hear the name Lee, think Ryan. Back to the vlog. But Lee's been <laughs> fantastic because basically we've needed resource and materials for Browning Street. And he's just basically said, come in. This is this is your shop. Choose whatever you want. So well, we've got was, all the free white tiles. It was wonderful. I can't remember whether I've said it on the vlog before. I've told this story to many people. When we first moved into Browning Street, we needed to uh, cordon off the area of the building we were destroying. That's right. Yeah. Um, because that would be the kitchen we needed to keep it separate so um, Will uh, goes over to Travis Perkins and says have you got any uh, sheeting any wrapping that we can just pop up and the chap says oh yeah what for dad explains about uh, House of Bread um, mentions uh, 
mentions House of Bread, and the chap you were speaking to mentioned Mick Bolt. So thank you, yes, Mick thank Bolt. Yes, thank you, Nick. So he was aware of House of Bread, and just in about five minutes of talking, it wasn't any longer than that. He'd literally said anything you need. Yeah, and it's, it's running to thousands nothing. of plasterboard. Um, you name it. So we've got an electrician, lovely electrician, doing the work for free for us. We're, the materials are coming for, f for mm. free. The plasterer. We're looking for somebody who can help us lay a floor at the moment. We've got the materials. Yeah. We've got the fixing. Um, so and yeah. we can now say we have all the stuff for a kitchen yep. in the together. room where the kitchen will be. <laughs> we've just got to put it all together. But that yeah. is, all, is there's a lot of different movement things going on. Yep. But as soon as they all fall into place, we will have a kitchen up and running. Yep. So it's super exciting. So again, it comes back to what we were talking about before. If you can help, this would be a great time to help because we're on the yep. verge of being able to offer real real help to people Fantastic. Um, at the real point of crisis and beyond right any other business we've got to mm. motor through because okay. we're running out of Quickly, time uh, don't forget to vote for us on Arriva Community Aviva Fund Arriva Community <laughs> Fund uh, the link will go up go on there remember it's Aviva not Aviva Aviva, Aviva. Uh, and, and vote company. for us which is all good don't forget Nick uh, 28th of November that's week's time we're in tesco's for a whole week yes. you're going to sneeze uh, which is really important oh, did um, you say i'm going to sneeze as you sound as though you were no i was yawning um, thank very you exciting. <laughs> smith muse from swindon all oh, right uh, who were only looking on local giving found us they are a huge uh, news distributor they work um, with Jack Beans, which is some uh, a bean, a fresh bean coffee uh, oh, making right. um, company, and they are collecting uh, five peas from every uh, Christmas cup of coffee purchased, which is going towards five charities, and we've been selected as one of the charities oh, fantastic. across the UK. So they're bringing a, a van, a barista van, to Browning Street on Thursday, the fifteenth of December, um, to, uh, to give away teas and coffees, and they're going to bring clothes. Is there hot and chocolate? Basically, and hot well. chocolate. Oh, good, um, yeah, and chocolate. all the funds for those five peas will all go together. So imagine how so many five. That's, that's, that's going to be a lot fantastic. of money. It's going to be about a thousand um, pounds, I think. Just one last one. I think you're yep. done. Are you done there? I can see uh, lots yep. of ticks. Okay, I was just going to um, mention oh, yeah, your apple our juice. apple juice. Thank you, Franzi. Uh, this is our own apple juice, and hopefully, we'll be selling this at the Christmas market well, on the twenty sixth of November. Gentleman who's done this. Yeah, fantastic. Look at this. It's no additives. So twenty sixth of November which is the same day that we're doing a Trinity Cafe so we'll be in town in two locations yes um, that's so very exciting, exciting. So so we'll pickles relishes that. there'll be more about that because we'll get Matt hopefully to do a bit of an yeah. interview but this this is lovely thank you um, one last thing um, and I must apologize Jude if you're watching this I haven't emailed you back about it uh, about a poster but there will be posters and things going up about our reverse advent calendars yes I've been contacted today um, by another company interested yes, in getting involved which are very exciting I think I've said it uh, on this before advent calendar. you put um, things in well yes it's, Exactly. Instead of mm. taking chocolates out, you can pop stuff in and then donate it to us. So there will be more about that in the coming weeks. It's winter is here pretty much now. Yeah. Um, so yeah, look out for our winter campaign. Look out for our Christmas campaign. Uh, lots of things are going to be happening. Um, so yes, all very exciting. And um, thank you everybody who's been supporting us yes. up until now. Uh, yeah, it's just wonderful, and it's great to do what we're doing. Yeah, um, come, and, come and get behind us if you yes. haven't done so already. Wonderful, it's really good. Right, lovely. That's it. Thank you. Yeah, I've tipped. For whom the bell tolls, it is us. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Will, being Thank on you. the sofa. We'll have guests next week. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were going to say something. <laughs> <laughs> we will have guests. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is just us again. Uh, I'm sorry about my voice. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. This is how you play your octopus, folks. Superman's my favourite. Thank you. Although it looks really dodgy having...